See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. I... And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. Welcome to my crushing difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted 4. This is part number 6 and this chapter is called Once a Thief, which I guess they meant always a thief. And there are 9 collectibles for us to obtain or nine treasures and also three optional conversations. The first treasure is located at the edge of this area. So we're going to get it right now. Just have to move into the corner. And it's right here. Odd place to leave a treasure, but that's just how Uncharted works, as you know. They leave Highly valuable treasures in the most awkward of places. Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Hey, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I don't know if we we're always meant yeah. to fail the first throw, but Best. even on my practice run, I failed my first uh, throw, which is reached. unusual. So maybe we're supposed to make Sam look good here and show that Drake is a little bit out of the game, who knows. Either way we need to jump here and now we need to wait for Sam to jump across as well since he's going to do the next throw. Hey, but we can swing off that beam up there. Definitely. Notice that they're doing this without gloves, so Sam was worried that they would get their tuxedos dirty, but they better wash their hands after they get inside as well, otherwise they look very suspicious. Okay, there we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. <laughs> okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. It seems that Sam right is just you. as big of a ninja as Drake, if not more. So let's jump down here again, and now we can just jump across. There we go. Okay. And now we need to swing to the left side and jump. Always works. 
don't attempt to do any of these stunts in real life, you'll be in trouble. So once the guards get inside, we're going to get the second treasure and then we're going to listen to the first optional conversation of this chapter. Like I said, there are three optional conversations and we still have eight treasures to go. They both look so suspicious, it's ridiculous. But the second treasure is here. And now we need to move forward a little bit to listen to the first optional conversation. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Get back here. I need to press triangle. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. Yeah, that's nice. There's that window. So now we're going to jump down. And once again we're going to swing across and you need to make sure that you're off the wall otherwise you'll fall into the abyss and die. So make the jump now and you'll be good. Alright, come on down. And now we're going to listen to the second optional conversation. We just have to wait here for Sam. Just practice my punches. I'll need them for the next chapter. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds. Uh, the ones I missed. You at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. They're actually pretty good drawings, because Drake's very good at drawing. But anyway, we're going to climb up, and that's the second optional conversation. And now we're going to get inside. And we don't need to worry about treasures until we get inside the house and reunite with Sully. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <laughs> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, now we just need to swing across once again. For the most part, this chapter really isn't troublesome at all. There are a few areas where it's easy to fall and die, but we won't really have any combat or anything like that. So we're all good. You can just enjoy the view while Sam launches the It'd rope. If you missed right now. Sure would. But I don't miss. Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. 
Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signora. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Okay, guys, so we're not going to follow Sully quite yet. Instead, we're going to turn around and there's going to be a treasure in this room. So that's the third treasure in this chapter. Make sure you pick it up. And now we're going to pick up treasure number four and also listen to the last optional conversation of this chapter. You just need to turn around here and head to the balcony. And there's Sam contemplating suicide. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled up tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. And we're going to get the fourth treasure now. And honestly, I don't know why Sam is so concerned with Alcazar. I mean, I honestly think that after he got inside the United States, he would have been fine. And he could have found some way to, to escape Alcazar. I doubt he's that powerful that he could track him down in the US and still have him killed. I don't know. I think he could work something out, but then there wouldn't be a plot, so... Uh, Sam, are you going to let me pass, or...? Because <laughs> we're starting to look a little bit suspicious here. Go home, Sam, you're drunk. This file just lets you know what's going to be bid on, so it's really nothing special. I'm not going to bother to read through all of the items, but if you want to do so for some reason, you can pick up this document look at all these warlords all happily reunited I guess you're not supposed to feel bad for robbing them right I think that's what they were going for here It's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in.
You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Okay, guys, so now we need to steal the card that the waiter has. And after we do, we can head towards the cellar. Whenever he moves away, we need to keep following him. And we need to adjust our position, otherwise we won't be able to, to rob him. So press the L2 button and depending on the way he's moving, you need to move your analog stick as well so that you can swipe the card. And if we can't do it, then Sam will give us a hand, but I think I can do it now. Hopefully. There we go. Something tells me the guy saw me because he looked he looked over his shoulder. But then again maybe not. I'm sure things will go south sooner or later. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. Alright. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. That's so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys, so we're going to move on ahead, but before. We follow Sam, there's another treasure for us to pick. It's here in the corner, in the middle of all these boxes. There we go. And the next treasure is close by as well. I don't think you can get caught here, but... If you, even if you can't, you should move very carefully because you never know. And just go down the steps and at the bottom of the steps you'll find the sixth treasure. Right here in the corner. Maybe one of the waiters was trying to smuggle a treasure or two, who knows. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. And now we're going to find another entrance. So we need to push this big barrel forward so that we can move inside. See some fence up there. Here we go. Let there be light. I'd like to go in this joint. 
and you can actually get kind of lost here because we have to keep Sam close, otherwise we won't have enough light. If it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless he need to run. But essentially what we need to do here is keep moving barrels back and forth so that we can open a passage for us. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for And I actually need to move this barrel. Something tells me that's not gonna fly. To the back, otherwise I won't be able to pass. So I took a wrong turn here. Come on, Sam, hurry up, because I'm losing my visibility, thanks to you. Okay, so let's move hey, this uh, one. Should I worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? And now we have an open passage. I can talk his way out of anything. Yeah, it's not a good sign when someone that essentially owns a private army appears. It's a signal that things probably won't go all that well. But now we have an open passage, so we can keep moving. Jump through here and through here. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. And now all that we need to do is push a barrel that's in the corner. I wish Sam would give me some light. But there's the barrel. We're going to push it so that we can jump up and go into the ventilation shaft. So there we go. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? And a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Waiters. Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. So this is the passage that we need to take, but we need to check this passage first because Sam has to be the one to find the exit. Back this way. Okay. After we step outside, we're going to get the seventh treasure, which is fairly well hidden. Fresh it's very easy to miss. <laughs> so before we follow Sam, we're going to jump down here. And now all that we need to do is climb up here. Jump onto that window ledge and climb up the pipe. Jump down here and there's the treasure you can see it shining in the corner. Again, you can't tell me that it's not a few waiters who are trying to smuggle a couple of high-priced treasures. Check this out. Otherwise, why would the treasure be there in the first the place? Tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. So now before we follow him, we're going to get the 8th treasure, which be careful making this jump because it's kind of easy to fall and die. So you want to jump into that balcony over there, there we go, right into the corner, 
head inside and the treasure is going to be right here in the corner. I actually forgot the pillar the treasure was on for a second. Now jump back down and we are good to go. Only one more treasure left. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that, find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Got it? Heads up, heads up. Buonasera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. Alright. Okay, guys, so now we're just going to keep going. And this next part. It's kind of easy to lose good? your bearings yeah, here and yeah, well, that's the style you might days. end up getting lost, but all that you need to do is climb up these walls. Sam, you there? And now we're going to jump Sam? to the other side. Sully? Great. So that we can make our way across. No gloves. You just don't need them. And now just swing across. <laughs> ah, oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh. Like dead out oh no more like retired mm. last i heard he settled down got married mm. well then he might as well be dead right <laughs> victor sullivan how the hell are you brave how long has it been 10 years 12 15 <laughs> it's amazing all these years gone by here we are we're still haggling over dead people's junk <laughs> really Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want a bit against him. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think 
about bidding on Avery's cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn right. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay, guys, so... Nate's okay, of course. If he died, then things would be incredibly awkward. Okay. Power room. But we're going to get treasure number 9, the last treasure in this chapter. First, we need to swing ourselves to the other side. There we go, simple enough. And now, God, why did I fall down here. Room? And you can see the treasure shining up in the wall. There we go. That's one of those ancient weapons that assassins used, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to swing to that small pole over there. There we go. Made it. And now just need to turn around. I said turn around. You are not obeying me, Drake. There we go. Took you long enough. And now let's climb up. And we are almost there. This section reminds me a little bit of that section in Uncharted 3 where you had pirates shooting at you from above. I hated that part on Brutal Difficulty, it was such a pain. But we're inside. I'm surprised no one saw us yet, but you know. I guess security isn't very effective. They're going to be very effective in the next chapter, though. Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Hey, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here and is a right now. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Screw it. Then may we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry, we'll be out of there in no time. Okay guys, now all that we need to do is find the crowbar okay. and as I expected, they move the crowbar from place to place uh, on every playthrough, so just because the crowbar, the crowbar is going to be somewhere around this room, but it might be in a different area for you and if you replay this chapter it will be in a different area. They just like to put it in different places, so let's see if it's here. Yes. So now all that we need to do is open the door and that will end this chapter my friends as soon as the cutscene begins that will be chapter number 7. So I hope you enjoyed this segment and I'll see you all later for the next part. Take care my friends.